What's up, gang? Welcome to another episode of GCRC. Back once again. My first time taking this out to the local hobby shop and crawling with it. So far, I'm pleased with it. It's totally different from the G because it's a belly dragger, so that's expected. So what I'm about to do with it now, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the soft set of shocks back into these. You guys notice I changed the tires. The tires that were on there originally were these. These were these are the Defenders by Power Hobby. And these are the Be of Good Rich. The KM, I mean KR3 I think is what they call, what they're called. I'm going to try these because I think these may be a little bit better. The one thing I am going to say, guys, with these wheels, what I really like about these wheels is the fact that these are supposed to be glued, but I didn't glue them. I just kind of, you can just pop them off and pop them back on because they're not putting out enough torque to actually turn the tires on the wheels which like some of your faster vehicles would do with the torque but they're tight enough where they're not gonna move so they're not running around anything so I don't know if you guys can notice but that's a difference in size so this is what I ran the last time these are about we're gonna call them 50 millimeters we'll just say 50 and these are they're right about 50 we'll just say 52 about 52 we'll just say 52 so it's a little bit larger it's not that much larger but it's a little bit larger that's one of the things that I was gonna do and I did I went ahead and changed the, the tires out which we're gonna try like I said we're gonna try these the next time instead of the ones that uh we had on here the defenders we're gonna try those i also got wheel weights and you probably saw it on one of the other videos i'm not sure which set i'm gonna go with this thing is fairly light but these are the trio which are about two ounces total and these are just uh one of the heaviest ones i found on uh amazon and these are about an ounce two ounces versus an ounce an ounce which I think I'm gonna go with these. The only fear I have is this is still running stock motor, stock um, motor, and I don't know how well it'll hold up. But I'm thinking about going ahead and changing that to this because I'm not going to go brushless on this one. I actually have the uh, file I made a, another roof, but I don't want to go brushless on here because I really want to keep all my weight down low. And the reason why I want to keep it down low is because I can tell a big difference in the Jeep once I put the Jeep in. I put the Komodo in the Jeep, and you can tell it's a difference. It's a real big difference. And I also want to go with the version 2 of this Speedo, which is the um, Lizard. Because it comes in a case, and it doesn't have the wires, which is pretty cool. But that's pretty much where we're going with this one. We're not going to do a whole lot more to it. We're gonna still we're still in the testing stages of it, so I got a little testing I'm gonna do. One other way I'm gonna add is these to the axles, and after that, that's probably gonna be it for a while. Some few other weights I'm thinking about adding, but I hadn't made my mind up yet. But this was gonna be pretty much done. So far, I'm pleased with it. For all you belly draggers, let me know what's your best setup. Do you do better with the springs inside or the springs on the shock versus the springs not on the shock and what type of tires are you guys running and what wheelbase this is basically a dead bolt two dead bolts well i'm sorry a dead bolt front and rear it's basically what this thing is running and this is a custom frame of course chassis warthog it's called warthog you can just google scx24 warthog and you'll see it come right up but until next time, guys, this is GNCRC. Over and out.